Well, I would say that Dynamite had some real highs. I would not say it had any real lows. Uh, there was nothing that I would say would be really low. But there were there were a couple of things. And uh, I may as well get it out of the way first. Hey, let's see, we'll turn the, if you want to turn the show off, do it. But it's a broken record. Dude, we need to sell some tickets. It's like, it's so glaring when you look at how successful Sunday's pay-per-view was. Dude, that pay-per-view did so well. They sold so many pay-per-views. They sold so many tickets. Everybody is raving about the show. It was like way, way up here. And then we got Collision tonight, which is like at, at 1,400 tickets. 1,400 tickets. I don't know at that level. Yes, it would help if you announced matches for sure. But my God, 1,400 is a surprise. That is exceptionally low to me. It just, I don't know. That stands out like a sore thumb. Well, it, it, well, it does. And But I mean, they have not been doing, for television, their, their numbers are not good. No. It's like their pay-per-views do great. And then there's the next day. And yes, I know next week is doing well. Okay. But it's, it's, it's at, you know, I think a little over 6,000. And fact of the matter is, they've been promoting it forever. And there's really only two options. Number one, Mercedes doesn't mean all that much. She obviously means something for her debut in, in Boston. But it's not like, you know, you're doing 16,000 or anything close. So either she doesn't mean all that much, or people haven't gotten the hint with the B-O dollar sign dollar sign T-O-N. It's, it's one or the other, okay? And the thing yesterday that uh that i just could not understand is why couldn't you advertise that you signed okada and he was going to debut on the show i i i know the angle okay i watched the angle i liked the angle okay but you could have done the exact same angle if you would have advertised that okada was debuting on the show and in fact, the angle probably would have been a little bit better because if you had the Young Bucks beating up Eddie Kingston and everybody knew that Okada was debuting on the show and they st started chanting for Okada, first off, the pop would have been bigger when the coin dropped. And then it would actually would have been more surprising probably when he ended up, like they could have done the exact same angle. And if you would have announced a week or two in advance that uh, Okada was going to be on the show... You'd have done way more than 3,000 tickets for the show. You probably would have done a better rating for the show. I can't think of any conceivable reason why the Okada debut had to be a surprise. And honestly, at this point, with with 6,000, almost 7,000 tickets out, whatever the exact number is for big business, I don't have any idea why you haven't just told people Mercedes is coming next week. Because Mercedes did an interview... And I think even she thinks that they should be announcing she's going to be there because she, in the interview, basically said, I've been working on some big business. Like, I don't know, man. Well, if it works, it works. CM Punk yeah. thing worked. It worked brilliantly. 16,000, 17,000, whatever they did for his, it worked great. Okay. This one hasn't worked like that. So. We even said going in, like, they're probably going to do the CM Punk thing, okay? If they do 8, 12, whatever thousand tickets, it's working, okay? If they don't do that, then, hey, go whatever, but, you know, a week or two before, announce it. Sell some tickets. And I don't want to hear that I'm the bad guy. I don't want to hear this. I've been hearing this from multiple people there why aren't we advertising stuff why aren't we selling tickets to these shows collision is today they had zero matches for collision until yesterday zero yesterday when we did this show they had zero matches announced for a show they wanted to sell tickets to on thursday i don't care if you think it's a broken record i don't care if you want to turn the show off like something's going on here Clearly, they're doing fine on pay-per-view, partially because they're they're announcing cards far in advance. Look at the lineup for this pay-per-view. It's not official, but this April pay-per-view, we got Brian Danielson and Will Ospreay. We got Okada and Eddie Kingston. Like, dude, they're going to sell a ton of tickets, and they're going to do a ton of buys. You could do that for television. 
I don't know why they don't. I don't have an answer to this question. But it's frustrating to me because there's 1,400 tickets for a collision show today. 1,400. The wrestlers deserve better. The fans want to know so they can go to the show. I don't get it. Back in a moment, Observer Live. I'm just red. <laughs> and responded. Uh, I did. I went in there. What am I doing? Why do I bother? Because you feel strongly about it, boss. That's that's the key. That's the key when people get mad at me. That makes me even more mad. So. It's like I love AEW. You realize that? Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm the know. guy that people used to say was paid by Tony Khan. I know. And there's nothing worse than me. Remember, remember those? Uh, it used to be like a meme. <laughs> I, I forget. I don't know what it was, but it was like everything is fine. Oh yes, with the the dog and the yeah, fire in the whatever, background and whatnot. It, I'm sick of hearing everything is fine. Everything isn't fine. <sighs> And if I dare talk about how it's not fine, I get blowback. I want it to be better, okay? I, I want it to be better. It well, happened I, to me I, personally, I, too. Like, the last time they ran Seattle, it was like, it was the same thing. It was, should I even go to Collision? I don't know anything about this show. I was like, what am I doing? It's Look, I know and it, You know why you know, also it's frustrating? Okay. But, go All ahead. right. I'll sit back. So listen, they had a adjust. period with a bunch of injuries, okay? Bunch of people hurt, bunch of people out, okay? Well, there's nothing you can do about that, okay? There's just nothing you can do about that. But, like, I see 1400 for collision, and my blood boils. Because it's this is not a situation where there's nothing that can be done about that, okay? And there's there's people in the company. Everybody has great ideas. Everybody has great ideas. And the great ideas aren't being done, Okay? We still don't have, at the very least, okay, we don't know the lineup for Collision. But you know what? Here's gonna Who's going to be on the show? We'll tell you two weeks in advance. These people will be there. I, I don't know what matches they're going to be. Fine, but these are the people that will be there, okay? Uh, here's a big dark match you're going to see that you can only see if you go live. Hasn't happened. I mean, there's so much stuff that could make this all better. And it's just, we keep doing the same thing. Like... A year ago, two years ago, said this on the chat. If I told you two years ago, in March of 2024, the greatest wrestler in the world, who, by the way, isn't right now, it's Will Ospreay, but still, at the time, the greatest wrestler on earth, Okada, is going to leave New Japan. He's going to debut in AEW, but he's going to debut unadvertised. On a dynamite that draws 3,000 fans. You would have said, dude, get out of here. Like, why do you have to be so negative? That's what you would have said a year ago, two years ago. Well, now it's happening, and people are like, is that bad? 3,000? Well, yeah, same market, same show. Dynamite. In the same... 5,000 last time. Over 5,000. They're down 2,000. Advertise Okada. Come Advertise stuff. That's... that's <laughs> A lot of, a lot Why of, am I a bad guy? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I will just say I'm not in their sales and marketing department, but a lot of things what we talk about when it comes to them is sales and marketing and advertising. And why are they not as big as WWE right now? Why do their guys, they don't have stars. They don't even need to the, be as big as WWE. Yes, they need to be but, as but big as they out. were. But hear me. They out. should be doing five thousand for dynamite. No, what they yes, they should be. And what they also should be doing is you have three debuts all coming in close proximity to each other, with two arguably of the best wrestlers in the world. And I'm not insulting Mercedes Monet into this, because certainly as far as fans go here and as far as name value goes. Mercedes Verando or whatever her real name is, the, the Mandalorian fans will know that, but everybody else will know Sasha Banks and all that. Why are these three, when wrestling is hot right now with WWE being hot, which means wrestling is hot to the mainstream, with mania season taking place, with the fact that these three people are coming in, why are you not getting these people onto more mainstream shows because that will not hurt. You can have as many great matches in the world with as many great wrestlers as you want, but if the product's not hot, you have to get it hot and you have to get people invested into believing that these people they're going to see are stars. And unfortunately, they don't have that 
credibility right now because they don't have a flashlight on them wherever they go being treated like a lot of the WWE talent is. And I'm not saying do everything the exact same way, but if ESPN is being dominated by WWE right now, can you use CBS Sports Network or your NFL or do something? Why have, again, well, Osprey, listen, Okada, Monage, they should be listen. advertised in a more mainstream way. Because uh, yeah, but I, you know what? You're not wrong, but, okay, let's say that they get these people over in the mainstream exactly as you as you said. How does that help if I don't know if they're going to be on the show? Well, I, everyone's well, talking about what is stacked. Together. Everyone is talking about what a stacked episode of Dynamite it was last night, which is true. It was a great show. It was full of stars. The roster is incredible. I can go through this report. They didn't advertise Swerve. They didn't advertise Samoa Joe. They didn't advertise Taven and Bennett and Adam Cole and Wardlow. They didn't advertise Hook. They didn't advertise Brian Cage. They didn't advertise the best friends, Kill Switch, Daddy Magic, Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, they did announce Rio and Statlander. Didn't announce um, Switchblade. Didn't announce Darby. Uh, didn't announce Mark Briscoe. Didn't announce House of Black. Like, it doesn't matter if these people are over. If you're in the area, you didn't know any of this stacked roster was going to be on the show. So what good does it do to send Swerve to whatever? Send I don't know if they're going to be on the show or not. They don't tell me. Yeah, That's Brian, the bigger problem. I know, but you're right. That is the, there again, there are two levels to this problem that we're talking about here. And I don't mean to be, you know, I don't want to battle it or anything like that. But with Swerve's story, you know it, right? You know everything he's been through. You know his military background. You know the independent wrestling that he's done. You know his outside interests, like when it comes to hip hop. You know this stuff. Everybody should know this stuff. I heard Swerve out in doing mainstream things more a couple of years ago when he signed. Why are we not hearing more about this dude? You know, MJF, they did a good job taking his outside things that he did, and they were rolling with him pretty good, even though the devil storyline sucked. You know, he was out there. Well, now he's hurt. He can't be out there. Use some other people and get them out there. It does not hurt. And when you're right now at the level that you're at where we have to talk about these things, there should be extra care taken to get these people, your top people, into as many places in the media as possible. And I know a lot of it is fake and all that sort of stuff, and we get driven nuts when WWE does it, but you know what? It's kind of what you have to do. Because you're not going to have... Look, there are going to be outlets that they're relatively shut out from. ESPN, they're relatively shut out from. You know, the Pat McAfee show, they're relatively shut out from. When Dan Levitard talks about it, when it comes to sports, who's he talking about? He's talking about WWE. That's they, they have got to get the AEW name back out there, and they have got to, again, put some shine on all of these people as well as doing what you're saying. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.